so right now I'm in front of the butterfly garden that I have been working on for years or forever. <laughs> if you haven't watched the previous video, well not the previous video, the video where I was planting a new flower bed, uh, I talk about, I talk more about why it is the way it is right now. Uh, so you can go ahead and watch that video uh, to see why it is the nature that it is today. It's a disaster still, but uh, it took me years to get to this point. So I still have, I have the cardboard still on the edges because there's still some grass that I'm trying to kill and there's this, uh, I forgot the name of the, this grass, it's like an ornamental type grass but it's invasive if you don't control it and um, it's really tough. So it um, got here somehow. So I'm trying to smother it but eventually I'm going to be using the shovel and I'm going to dig it up. And it's at the bottom of this bed, I don't know if you can see it, right there. So right now I have some Cosmos, some bachelor's buttons, and um, convo convolvulus, I think, something like that. Um, I will be getting some milkweed, uh, not the invasive type, but uh, what's it called? I keep forgetting the names of plants. Um, anyways, it's a, it's a plant that butterflies can lay their eggs on it and this is specifically it's not just a butterfly garden as in the sense of oh just flowers that are pretty that you know butterflies like but I do actually want to uh, help to um, the population of butterflies especially the monarchs and this is right next to where our patio is going to be let me just give you a quick turn over here you know what let me let me pick up the camera and show you so this is where the patio is going to be. This is just temporary right now. I'm going to be also expanding it. And this is the butterfly garden. And then if you turn around this way, this is the flower bed I was working on. I still have the grass piles. <laughs> I will eventually get to them. But for now, uh, that's where, they're, where they are. Right behind me, you see these wilted plants right here. Uh, so, these are poppies that I transplanted from a different place and it was a little bit too late for them to be transplanted and getting poppies this large to be transplanted is super hard. And right now was, today was a hot day. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was pretty hot, maybe in the 80s. And um, I also transplanted an echinacea that's wilting on the top right there. See it? Right there that one and I really hope it's going to survive. I'll be watering them again tonight uh, and I don't know if the poppies are going to make it. If they don't, I honestly don't care because they're not my favorite. When I did, when I planted them several years ago, I planted, the package said Lady Lavender and it had a lavender on it and I wanted to plant lavender. I wasn't planning on planting poppies and these came up. It was totally false packaging. <laughs> Uh, but what they are is they're red poppies and they have a lavender center on the inside. So I don't really want red in here even though red brings hummingbirds and I do want hummingbirds in here as well. But I don't think the poppies are going to do it. Could be wrong. I'm going to give them a couple more days and see if anything happens or maybe a week. If nothing happens, I'm just going to pull them up because I really don't care for them. So, and I only planted them because I felt bad and I didn't want to just kind of toss them. I hate killing plants. <laughs> the sun is so hot. I also, uh, this grass grows sort of wild over here, but it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has these little tiny... Uh, purple flowers that are super beautiful and it just kind of it's it's sparkles it's like stars in here and uh, I have I have another one under the cedar tree um, and I think I'll probably be bringing it over here too because it seems to do better in the Sun I'm gonna be expanding this garden down on this side all the way down to here and then straight this way and then that way for now 
eventually most of the hill this whole hill almost is going to turn into a garden and I might make all of it into a butterfly garden and maybe some of it I don't know but this is hideous right now <laughs> and hopefully as the days go by it goes go by it's going to get better so let me show you the seedlings so these are the seedlings I have some cosmos and these are the ba bachelor's buttons they did kind of get scorched in the sun a little bit but I think they'll be okay They'll, they'll do well. And these are the convolvulus, I think. My daughter picked these and she wants to plant them in a pot. So I'm going to be taking some and giving her some. I don't know how big these grow. I've never planted them and I've never planted bachelor's buttons before. So this is something new to me. I have planted cosmos and I'll be showing you the best way to plant them uh, so that they don't topple over. And I did a video on Instagram last year and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you can probably see that video up there. It's somewhere in my feeds. And you can check out how I planted my Cosmos last year, but I didn't have... They grew like, I don't know, like 10 feet tall, I think. So maybe these will grow as tall. So I'm going to be planting them over here in the top. And then I'm going to be, not today, but... When I can, I'm going to be digging out this grass section over here. Because it's really hard to mow anyways. This whole grass section. And I'm going to be planting some sunflowers over here. In the future, my plan is to put some small butterfly bushes, like the Pugsters maybe. Um, either pink or purple. Not sure. We'll see. So, let's go ahead and start planting. go around over here I don't want to cover this uh, what's it called can't remember its name now something something does it have aphids on it oh <gasps> what are those oh yes these are they look like aphids oh okay 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 <sighs> These come up everywhere in our garden. They're black-eyed Susan, that's what they are, or Rebecca. And so I went around over here. I don't even know if this is this thing is going to survive a split uh, from this one. I planted it. I don't think it's going to do anything, but we'll just give it a chance. So I'm going to plant this one in front of you. Cosmos can develop roots all along their stems, just like tomatoes. So I take the bottom leaves off and I bury them as deep as I can. And this way they when the wind comes and they grow really tall, because some varieties do grow really tall, uh, they won't topple over. And I don't have fertilizer right now on hand. I do have another bag of fertilizer, but I don't want to use it over here. I want to use it in my vegetable garden <laughs> because that's more important for me right now. To me, not for me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna plant the rest now. Also, this soil is super sandy, so that's why it dries out so quick. When I was digging down, it seems like it's dry, even though I watered yesterday. And other places in, in our yard, it's not that as sandy. Um, like in the area where I planted the elephant ears, it's actually clay soil. So, I'm gonna have to water these every day. I'm eventually going to be installing irrigation here, more like sprinklers. I got a small sprinkler head and I'll be installing this here so that I don't have to water it every day. Especially, it dries out so quickly. So 
just decided to plant everything and then kind of give you a tour of what I did over here. I can't wait to get rid of this cardboard, but for now it's acting as a weed block until I mulch everything and pull the grass out from these areas over here and then eventually from this area like I said and the other one. So over here I have the three convolvulus plants. I left three for my daughter because she really wants to try planting in a pot. She has quit on gardening in the garden and she wants to try out in the pot because uh, she thinks that could be easier and more enjoyable. So I just want to encourage my kids to um, love gardening and that's just one way if that's what she thinks. I'm just gonna help her and encourage her and teach her and hopefully slowly she'll grow love for gardening. So I have three of them over here. I think they are trailing plants. I've never planted them before but this is what they look like to me. So I kind of want them to fill this corner over here and I do hope they attract butterflies and hummingbirds. We'll see. I forgot what color they are. And these are the bachelor's, bachelor's buttons over here. So I, I kind of planted them over um, in a drift like this over in between the Minarda. You can see them kind of going that way and then they end up, they thin out over there again. I really want to get rid of those. I might just, well, I don't know, do I pull them or do I give them a try? They're so ugly. I might, have, might, might as well just get something and put it in there. I really don't like them. I think I'm just going to pull them. But maybe for now they're just acting as a weed, weed block. I'll keep them until I have something to plant there. I did plant some china asters, but they did not come up. So I would have, I suppose, planted them there, but not china, sorry. Uh, what's it called? Sea star aster. But none of them came up. I don't know why. Not sure if they needed stratification. That was my first time trying them. And the cosmos, you can see they're all right here and again this whole area over here is gonna fill up with some sunflowers and once I pull up this grass I'm gonna be planting the seeds and hopefully mulching this whole area I was going to use the mulch that I got in the front but I think I'm probably just gonna use it over here so that I don't keep battling the weeds but what I am going to do is just finish with the weeds that are growing over here um, keep pulling them up and then mulch because there's tons of crab grass that's growing in here so it's a couple of days later I and I just couldn't leave the poppies in there I was about to edit this the this video this morning uh, but my uh, toddler decided to wake up with me early in the morning and so I wasn't actually able to do that and that gave me a chance to kind of come here and rip uh, the poppies out and take the cardboard out from the side so you can see on this side I took it out and over there on that side and I just I after I filmed the first part of the video I remembered that I still have tons of flowers other than just the lupins that I haven't planted and originally I was planning on planting a lot of them in the vegetable beds but I do have a lot of vegetables that I am planning on planting and I did plant tons of flowers in there along the, with the vegetables so I think I'm just gonna plant them in this uh, flower bed over here and in the um, new flower bed that I'm making the, these flies keep flying into my eyes anyways so today we're gonna be working on this butterfly garden and in the next video maybe the next video I'm not sure when that's gonna come out I'll be working on the new flower bed which is facing me over here on that side. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the cardboard here or not. My foot is hurting me after I finished working here the other day. It was really, um, it was just, I was experiencing a lot of pain and it was a little bit swollen and I've had problems with my foot for several years now. Um, so Today I'm wearing better shoes, hopefully that will help, and I'm trying to stay off of it as much as I can. If I do take these, this cardboard out, then I probably 
I won't be able to pull up the grass that's there uh, just because it's so difficult. I might be able to pull up the easier stuff but I am going to be mulching this area as well. So I have some brown mulch over there in the new flower bed I used black mulch and that was the first time I used black mulch because they were out of brown mulch, the brand that I like. And so I ended up getting the black mulch and I really love it. So in the next, in the coming up years, I'm just gonna be switching all my flower beds into black mulch instead of the brown. So let me show you what I have over here. Uh, what kind of flowers and then we'll go ahead and plant them. I started all these from seeds and I have these lupins over here. They're doing okay. They could have done better if I did transplant them into bigger pots, but I just ran out of time. I was super busy, but they're doing great actually. I am really happy with them. I wasn't able to fertilize them as much as I'd like to, but in the beginning stages I was able to. Anyways, um, and over here on the side I have some black trumpet salpiglosis and these are Canterbury Bells. The lupins and the Canterbury Bells are going to go... Oh, there's also a weed. This is, um, I think, Asian cinnamon and I think it's edible. I done some research about it like years ago and I forgot all the properties and everything but it grows like a weed over here so I mean it's growing everywhere and if I don't pull it it's just gonna seed itself everywhere so it seeded itself in this cell tray over here uh, anyway so the Canterbury's I think I am going to put in front of my roses I forgot what color they were I think they're blue I don't know but I know I like them so I planted them and they, these are yeah these are black trumpet salpiglosis. So the salpiglosis, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I want to put them in front of the daisies or not. I think they're, they might be too tall to put them in front of the daisies or the same height. So I'll just stick them in here probably or in my vegetable garden. We'll see what happens. So I guess most of this tray is going into the, is going into the new flower bed. And then I have this tray over here <laughs> the gumfrina is so sad. This is atomic purple gumfrina. Um, it's so sad just because um, it sat one day, I think we had like a hail and a rainstorm and it just sat in the water for so long and I wasn't able to go out there and get it because it kept raining for like several days. Um, so it's a little yellow, <laughs> but the new leaves are doing better. So I'm going to be splitting this between this bed over here, this butterfly bed over here, and the new flower bed. I'll be, again, making a new video for the flower bed, a separate video, just because this video is just getting so long. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I just kind of, I was hating how it looked like, and it's just, I hate, I, I mean, the poppies were just looking terrible. They're dead now, I think. I mean, they could survive probably, but I'm not interested in them. And the cardboard is just a total mess and I can't wait to get rid of it. It's just driving me insane. <laughs> Normally I put the cardboard up and then I put mulch over it and that just um, keeps it in place and um, stops the weeds from growing. But this time I didn't have any mulch, so I just put the cardboard there to stop the weeds from growing. And it did its job. And the places where the cardboard blew away, I ended up with the weeds, the seeds sprouting. And that happened early in the spring. We had a huge windstorm and it just blew tons of stuff. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to be placing these gumfrina probably around where the poppies were and I'll leave some out for the other flower bed. I'm not going to be fertilizing this area just because uh, last year we actually had a huge burn pile over here and that kind of gave me a chance to start planting in here. Um, and the burn pile, it has potash in it and lots of nitrogen and um, a lot of nutrients that can come from burning plants and um, they keep flying into my eyes. 
and uh, wood. So there are a lot of nutrients in here. And you can see that the um, cone flower over there is uh, doing amazing, the echinacea. So um, it survived. I watered it yesterday again. It's doing great. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so the gumfrina are planted. I started them right next to the cosmos and then they go down and create this drift over here and they kind of end over here and narrow. And hopefully this will look... Sorry, there's a bug on my camera. <laughs> hopefully this will look nice with and it won't block the bachelor's button. Uh, if I had uh, known, if I remembered that I had the gumfrina, I wouldn't have planted the bachelor's button, uh, button buttons where I did because I, th I believe they are shorter than the gumfrina. And I did decide to go ahead and plant the salpiglosas over here. I think that would look pretty over here. And it would just fill in this area and for now this wet bed would be okay. I also have some purple princinia seeds that I'm going to be putting in here and then later on I'll be fixing edging the top and planting sunflower seeds at the top. I have some a mix of brown and yellow and just uh, all sorts of cool and white all sorts of cool sunflower colors to go right at the top over here. These are Bermuda grass roots and they will sprout everywhere and spread themselves everywhere. the area is mulched. I still need a bit more mulch down there, right there, and I think for today I'm gonna leave the cardboard but when I do, when my foot feels better, I'm gonna come and start working on this edge first and then on that side right here. Uh, so, yep, uh, that's how it looks like. Let me give you a close-up. So there's the grass, I forgot its name. And there we go. So we have here the convolvulus, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So you have it right here. And this is just wild daisies that grow over here. They're pretty. I like them. If you shear them off midsummer, they bloom again. So I just put this up here last year and also along with these um, black eyed Susan. I had more but the rest died because it was I was transplanting them in like the heat of the summer. And we have the let's stay over here. And then over here we have at the bottom we have the black trumpet salpiglosis and right over them there's the bachelor's button. This over here I got three different shades of the same color. This is Menarda or uh, bee balm. This I think is purple. I have the tags but not sure where the tag went on this one. I know I put it here, but got covered with the mulch. And some of them are just a little bit lighter purple, and one is on the like pinkish purple side. And this is, um, what's it called? This is Veronica. Now, I had this in the front last year, but now that it, this area is expanded. The cardboard killed all the grass that was here, so this is no longer in the front. Eventually, I'll probably have to move it to the front, but for now, this is where it's staying. And you have the gumfrina right there, and then the cosmos on the top, and the echinacea right there, the coneflower. And here's a view from the top. Just don't look at the cardboard.
So I'm gonna leave you right here. The flies are <laughs> flying all over me. I gotta go make lunch and probably in the evening I'll come back and film the next video or I might have to actually work on editing this video so I'll have to film the other video next week all right so before the flies before the flies get in my eyes <laughs> I'm gonna go inside right now. Actually, I have to clean up a little bit and then I'll go inside. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again <laughs> next time. <laughs> Bye. The other day I was cleaning this flower bed. It was full of grass and weeds and this is how it was when we came. So I decided to use the edger on it to create this space. And then later on I, come, I came and I found a nest of baby birds in here and I feel, felt so bad but their mom was taking care of them look at them don't step on them serenity don't touch them okay 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 let's go so that their mama can take care of them Come on. No. Oh, and look at this azalea. The deer keep coming and eating it up every spring. Not that I like its color. I mean, it's sort of pretty. It's just not my favorite color. So I'm not super sad about it. I eventually I'm going to be pulling it up. I might either plant it somewhere else or, I don't know, take care of it and then give it to someone if they like this color. You did? What are you doing? Pink? Yeah. Is pink your favorite color or purple? Purple. And on, on, and on. Let me see, let me see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>